get everybody born from Grave Forsaken and uh, got Luke from Grave Forsaken here as well. There you go. Hope you're all good. Just tuning in with another video update on the 30th of July. Uh, it was my birthday yesterday and I um, I got given a, a, a Marshall amp, a, a JCM 2000. 2000 TSL 100. And it's, it's like, it's my dream amp. I've always wanted something like that. So um, Luke actually gave some advice to Christy, my wife. Um, Christy like completely organized it on, on her own. Uh, and I wound up with this this amp and, and Luke, Luke helped. So it was a complete surprise to me. So that was super cool. So thanks for that, Luke. No worries. It was a good choice. Yeah. And we've just been... Um, we're on the webcam, so I don't know. It might look silly if we try to no, go ahead. show it. See if you can get it in here. There we go. Look at that. There's the Three Jason. channels. Clean, crunch, lead. Pristine condition. The rips that are coming out of here. <laughs> you. Very, very cool. So Luke, Luke's a... Um, Obviously, I've been playing guitar in Grave Forsaken for 20 years, but like Luke's a real pro, and uh, he's he's been showing me a few tips and tricks with with this because I've always used like uh, solid state amps up until now. I've never had something as cool as this. Um, I've always tried to like make do with with what I've got, um, and sort of thought, nah, it's a bit extravagant to get you know something like that. But I've decided I've been doing this for 20 years now, or in Grave Forsaken for 16. Yeah. So probably it's <laughs> probably it's well deserved. Yeah. It's well deserved. It's going to get good use, I can tell. It's going to be getting a lot of use. So we've just worked out like we've just been um plugged in the the emulator into um into like my demo multi-track software and getting like really cool genuine Marshall tones. Mm. It's pretty Sounds cool. Sounds good. Uh it's got a great um it's got like a output from the head basically that I can plug directly into my my M track studio. See if I can get that up. Your there you go. USB interface. Yeah. I'm sure sure people are familiar with yeah, that yeah. kind of technology. So the Marshall straight into there. Don't even need to mic it up. Don't even need to have the cabin. You can like crank it to to a hundred, to yeah. ten pretty much. It's got a mute button. Mute. So you can leave yeah. it plugged into the cab, but mute the cab so that you're not yeah, you're just getting the line so in. So you're not waking up the neighbours. Yeah, <laughs> that, that comes later. <laughs> and um, in the last few video updates, of course, I've been talking about the new album and I, I don't, I still don't have like, I can't tell you the exact details, but um, they're coming soon. They're, like, I know I keep saying that and um, they are. They are. The, a lot of things have been going on behind the scenes, so been working on a bit of a rollout and got some cool things happening so even i don't know i'm still waiting on Vaughn to tell me <laughs> he won't tell me guys you know play on the album sort of say to me um what's going on with it uh, where's it all at <laughs> and um it, it yeah it is happening so really looking forward to um bringing you some announcements soon and um yeah it's, it's going to be really cool to have it out it's been a long time in the making um Luke, Luke played all the, he played rhythm and lead guitar on the album. So Luke was, uh, Luke did most of the, or yeah, huge chunk of the lead and rhythm on Fight Goes On and It Has Begun. You did the rhythm, you did the other rhythms too. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. I played, played some so stuff. So you and I on guitars. Oh, on this album. Oh yeah, this album. On this album, that, yeah. yeah. I played a lot more guitar on this one mm -hmm. than the previous couple. Um, and that was good because on the early Grave Forsaken albums, I used to play, you know, a rhythm track on every song, a couple of lead tracks. And then as time went on, I sort of focused more on the vocals on the, on the albums. And, uh, but yeah, on this one, yeah, that's, that's correct. We've got a rhythm track mm. on every song each. It's really cool to hear yours on the, on the left or right, whatever. And I'm on the, yeah, we're in, side. we're in diff. I think I'm mixed left. You're but, left, probably, yeah. But Dan may have switched up. 
okay. on certain songs. Wherever it is. They yeah. Blend, they blend really nicely. They do. It, it's, they, it's... it was really easy to track to your guitars because they just, I don't know. I think I can get the vibe for the way you play. So when I play, they just like blend into one sound. It's nice and tight. Yeah, well, because when you got the tracks, you, um, I had I had already recorded my rhythm track, and then you. Oh yes, yeah. So so you. So I played along, and I got a feel for what you sounded like, and I just just tried to blend in. Yeah, so um, that was really cool, and it was really it was really great how you came on board and yeah. um, okay. added your expertise to the album. We we had some some lineup changes during the the process of the album, so it was good to. It was really good that you came in and because Luke Luke had been um, had played on the last couple of albums, but then before all this stuff hit, Luke Luke had sort of plans to do a bit more mm. stuff in the US, and now everybody is obviously there's not much travel going on, so I'd probably still do things. Yeah, the grave over the internet, wouldn't I? Yeah, Probably. yeah. You, you, I'm sure you would actually. I'm, I'm sure if I asked, you you would play. So, so yeah, Luke Luke plays all the guitars on this album, which is really super cool. And um, who knows? Hopefully, maybe we'll we'll get to play a launch gig or something later yeah. on in the year. So um, that would be good as well. Now that gigs are happening. Yeah, we've got got um, shows. Think- don't think there's any restrictions not on gigs not significant in in wa in wa yeah, yeah we're, we're we've um been very very lucky as i've mentioned in previous videos we we um in in our home state don't have a we don't have any community transmission or um the only cases of coronavirus we get are when people come home from overseas and they they have to go into hotels for two weeks so every every now and then we'll hear about you know a yeah. few people who have got it in hotel quarantine, but it's staying out of the community, which yeah. has been um, means we're very lucky. So um, yeah, we're grateful for that. And and like I've said in previous videos, I my genuinely heart goes out to to everybody you know who's um they can't get the gigs and they can't do shows and yeah is at home. And in a bad, you know, bad situation, like, um, I feel like Western Australia is one of the, um, really fortunate places in the whole world. In the whole world, definitely. When it comes to that, yeah. but, um, you know, it still, it still makes, um, you know, it's still not, uh, still not pleasant, you know, it's not like, cause we've got it good over here that we've got no sort of empathy. Yeah, totally. Definitely. For the rest of the world, that still is still really, um, you know, gut wrenching to hear, you know, what's mm. going on in, in in other parts of Australia, other parts of the world. So as I've as we've said on previous videos, you know, we're thinking of everybody out there, and we all just want this thing to end, regardless of what um, the situation is in in each of our, you know, local areas. Mm. We're lucky, but we could just as easily have been unlucky. So. Um, we're certainly not taking anything for granted here in Perth, but uh, you know it has been good to. I've I've sort of decided to set a few goals in twenty twenty. What are they? Oh, well, just in terms of band and yeah, like, yeah. getting this album out and um, yeah, just just working more towards um getting getting the band like you know back to a, a level that it was like yeah, we yeah. we used to play live a lot more, but then um kids and family and all that those sort of priorities came in yeah but um yeah i've just been working quite a bit behind the scenes to yeah. to have more more of a um solid plan for the yeah. for the band going forward like and so i'm working on things to to like roll roll stuff out so that it's probably a bit less ad hoc mm-hmm. it, which it can sometimes be when when um when other things take take over I did. We got up to nearly ten minutes. I I told Luke we'd just do a five minute video, but now I've done ten minute video, so might leave it there. Yeah, well, yeah. easy. So that's good. It's yeah, good to check in. It's good to be a part of the Grave Facebook page and to show my face and to <laughs> yeah. to get in on the action. I saw Matt was here last time. <laughs> yeah, I was watching like... that. It was good to see Matt again. I don't see Matt, but I saw him on the on the on the uh, 
stream. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, like again, like when we're sort of in recording phase. The band is here. Yeah. The, it, it's just, it's been in this recording phase for such a long time that we don't actually always meet up as much. Um, but so. people still get the music at the end of the day. Yeah. They get the arms. They get the music. They get grave. Yeah. Um, so yeah. what would be good would be, yeah, we'll get together and um, actually rehearse. And uh, we did do some rehearsals earlier in the year. I think I mentioned this on a previous podcast. You were, you were at least there. you were at least I was at one of the rehearsals. Yeah, yeah. So and that was pretty cool. So uh but then the whole thing hit. Um so I sort of had this idea earlier in the year to get the band cranking again in in a live sense. We're always sort of recording and you know trading files and mixing stuff. That that's always gone on for the life of the band, but um you know the the live stuff has definitely you know not been as much, but uh yeah, it's good. It's good if we can, um, you know, as the year rolls on. So yeah, it's definitely been a goal of mine to um, to get that side of things going. And and now I've got that that amp. There's really no excuse. The not inspiration to... as well. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're feeling fired up. You want to write more, probably. Yeah. You yeah get well, more recorded. Yeah. Well, just even hearing that emulated tone, um, mm. uh, that that's inspiring. Just to like record demos. Yeah. And get like the next batch of songs. Um, that, and there is, uh, that's, that's for a few time down the, the track, but, um, there is, there is, ex, there is songs written for future projects. So there's always, there's always stuff in the pipeline with this band. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're sort of just at the early stage. We'll, we'll get, um, there's always stuff that's been recorded, like always demos and whatnot going around. And you, I know you've, you've done a few earlier this year, Luke, that were pretty, pretty cool that will probably no doubt appear on a future album uh-huh. so but that that's for the future we're, we're, that's always been the case with grave forsaken we've always you know been always got demos and um new song There's ideas new. yeah and i i think it's important to always have like something in the process yeah. i never want to be at a point where like there's just nothing happening behind the scenes yeah. like even if it's quiet on the live front um, always, as you know, Luke, I always like to have, have some kind of studio project rolling, yep. Yep. which is why we've been able to bring out albums every few years. Cause th- there's always, there's always something happening in the background. Um, even if, you know, it might just be the occasional Facebook update here, here is proof that, um, yeah. we, <laughs> we communicate with each other. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Actually, Luke and I catch up a lot, but we just don't always do a video update. Yeah. So, um, maybe not so much this year when like everything in Perth was in lockdown, but yeah, pretty recently. And yeah. we, we live a long way apart as well. Like how far away would your house be from here? Uh, I don't know in kilometers or miles, but it would be at least, um, 50 to an hour. Yeah. So an hour drive and it's like a main highway. So you, yeah probably drive is probably like 80 or 90 kilometers so like perth's really spread out yeah so luke's like sort of in the far northeast of perth and i'm kind of in the far southeast of perth so we're, we're kind of at opposite ends of the eastern side of perth yeah <laughs> so anyway um we're probably just rambling a bit now hope you you're going well and hope you've enjoyed this update and hope you've been able to make sense of what we've said and uh Thanks for tuning in, and there will be some, there will be some pretty cool announcements in the pretty near future. So stay tuned to our Facebook and all of those things, and we're looking forward to bringing you that that news. As I like, well, have you got anything last to say? I'm good. I think you covered it all. <laughs> yeah, um, I I talk too much, so I always worry that I like talk over people and stuff. I watch these back and I cringe a bit. But no, um, you're good. You're good. I think you've you've contributed well. God bless and rock on. <laughs>